What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire and today will be an hour special. I'm hoping to make some actual gains. Um, some actual gains against our enemies and I'm particularly eyeing up um, sieging Konigsberg and preparing for a defensive battle. Um, which means I'd probably like to draw, build up more reinforcements from uh, Minsk. But it will have three armies ready. Three armies to hit Konigsberg. I think that would be a good idea. And we've also got one army sailing out to the Americas. Which should open some interesting new problems. Uh, but right now there's nothing to do except hit and turn. And get ready to watch the, um, the shuffling around of Prussian and Austrian troops. We did take Courland, but we gave up Afghanistan to the Mughal Empire. Mainly because I'm trying to delay war with the Mughal Empire for as long as possible. Um, I will I will delay up to Persia, but I will, if they push me back to Persia, then we will fight them there. I will hold them there. And my main effort would be trying to take away their uh, their gains in the Americas and build up a, build up a foothold. Build up a Ottoman foothold in the Americas to send more spices and goods back to the motherland and we're also trying to completely convert our our uh, populations or the people under our control to the islamic faith and it's going quite well it's not very often actually most of the time religious problems never normally are never normally that, that much of a problem like you could quite easily go through the game and never worry about religion at all because usually resistance to occupation keeps creeping down so much so that um, any uh, religious problems become quite insignificant. But with the Ottomans and it being an absolute monarchy, you've already got a big penalty with the lower classes as it is. So it's quite useful to chip away at any other fairly easy, uh, fairly other easy sources of tension. One of which, obviously, is the religious side. To be honest, I may still assault Konigsberg, just because of how the system works in terms of supporting a... in terms of supporting a, an ally inside the city. That and to be honest, the more the more men they send into the city, the the bigger quicklime pit it becomes. So we have got some Prussian ships blockading one of our ports. So maybe I should I should station a in the the bay. We've got another agent here. Okay, well you instead are going to go down to Kabul. Wait a minute, I haven't moved my. Okay, I definitely clicked him to go down here. New port emerges in Estonia. Fascinating. So you're going to become a shipyard. So I'll start to recruit, recruit military ships in this in the Baltic Seas. Izmir is blockaded. What by a brig and a sig three? Okay. Everyone sends the fifth rate just to go there and destroy the troublemaker. Let's just deploy these ships here. So to force them around. To be honest, actually I might just deploy them here. That way the zone of control protects both of our key ports from blockade. Where's our Moscow army? There it is. So he's marched within range to pick up the guns and then march forward. Pick up the Army Staff College and let's pick up a Well, I'm not gonna pick this I'm not gonna pick this up. It's not a proper army. Its job will be to uh, provide reinforcements. 
So I'm not going to push elsewhere because my focus is going to be Konigsberg. Okay, so you're recruiting six more men, which means you will have one space left. Probably for a unit of light infantry. Good. Might even put my army even more provocatively close to them, but then again, they're within range, so there's no rush. Iron Master's Forge and Komi become a steam powered factory. Keep the Moscow military buildings high. Steam powered cloth mills, lots of high tech buildings. Riga's at max level. Hall and farms, but they're being upgraded anyway. The roads are being upgraded. Um, okay, you instead go to there instead. Join up with this fella. And they can also pick up some infantry support. Because yeah, these guys are going to stay where they are. Um, I want to move my men up to hit Konigsberg. I should have known better. Mr. Dali, you come over here. How can you not recruit anything more interesting than any of that? Okay, what's the... Hmm. Why can't you recruit some direct pikemen? Oh, I've already got the maximum number. Okay. Start to recruit men to act as a garrison for this region. That might not be very good, but I don't want to leave... An I don't have an army sat there forever. March you guys up. So yes, we will be against, at any one time, two full stacks of... Oh no, I won't. So the, the Prussians can only ever have one stack of troops on the field at any one time, and they can be supported by another, as many other allied armies as possible. It's only level one fort, which is useful. The garrison itself is a bit pants. But that will be quite a quite a damaging hole in their line, I think. Um, let's go make sure our colonial adventurers make it to the open sea. Okay, just create a garrison. Everything's still recruiting. You've recruited some ships, so let's pick up a a third rate. Probably also pick up a unit of two units of Muslim to keep the garrison uh, strong in Ankara. Could be we're going to get citizenship, which is useful, but obviously it does reduce happiness. Mass production would be useful. Recruitment costs across the board would be very good, but it'd be so far away for the majority of our. Educational buildings. Obviously, these guys are sat here, ready to uh, attack this Danish army and march on Sarajevo as soon as war with them actually kicks off. Um, let's repair the farm. Destroy the pleasure gardens because they're already happy enough with us. So let's hit end turn. And I'll replace it with industrial building. Yeah, right now they've got quite a, quite a uh, comprehensive defensive line in eastern Poland. And the first objective will be Konigsberg. Then I would like to move on to Warsaw. That would be useful. This 
northwards, we shall prevail. But yes, so they can only ever have one army, one stack of troops on the field in a, at any one time. So, ooh, they've actually... That's interesting. I may besiege the army in the fort with one army. Then the other two armies will then march on Konigsberg. Because then we've trapped an army inside a fort of limited value. I think that will work. More Prussian ships sailing around to interfere with our... Our position in the Mediterranean. It might be worthwhile building another army in Cairo and sailing them over to take Malta. Devils. So we lost two ships. Take their fourth rate. Stay away, Prussia. Don't make me destroy your... But they've given us quite a good opportunity to destroy one of their armies in a, in a uh, fort. But like I said, I don't really want to attack. I don't really want to attack it, I just want to bottle them up with something. They demand infinite military access. Indefinite military access? No. You're not getting it, son. But soon we will secure the spice and precious metal rich regions of South America. And the Moroccans have been repulsed, probably by the Swedes as well. The Mughals are coming to steal my technology. Oh well, we will still just destroy them. Then the pirates are going to be pirates and help us out even if they don't know it. They've sabotaged our pleasure gardens. But we're destroying them anyway. Oh, they went... Okay, they just marched... Marched onwards. Okay. So... If I take this garrison, drop them outside the city. Just dump everyone into Corlin just to try to keep them happy. It won't entirely work, but the first, the first step is writing a letter and complaining, so it's not a massive problem itself. Keep the military buildings upgrading. Lots of steam powered mills coming online, which is great. There we go, and then we can take our uh, galley, occupy the port. Uh, yeah, weavers, that's what we want. Turkish Bath in Courland may as well upgrade it because they're already unhappy with us. So down here, we're not going to be able to stop them from. Well, we will. Well, we will be able to if I repair that fleet, then bring this fleet back to its position. Good. So great upgrade and build some walls in Athens actually because that could become a potential hotspot. So we will need to fight this guy. There's no way around it. But I can take Ahmad City. Drop him nearby. Will you intercept my support? You will not. So he's within range. So the idea is to fight this battle first, then fight the assault on the city. So let's upgrade the Great Estates, and let's take the Moscow army into their first battle. So they do have 
heavy horse artillery, loads of cavalry, lots of good infantry. So we're going to want to use... Um, well, we need to use our quick climb. Their artillery is excellent. Their artillery is excellent. Their cavalry is excellent. Their infantry... So much so, I'm probably going to deploy back. Even though I'm attacking them, I want to spend some time uh, picking apart their formations at range. Skirmishes out front. Let's put our hand mortars on the left. Hidden in the forest. Cavalry out wide. Warm artillery firing round shot at the start to try and take out their artillery. All of you. Heavy horse artillery. Take them out. Unsatisfactory first attack. Oh, I forgot, I forgot my damn cavalry. It was back here. Okay, I'm going to have to, earlier than planned, start dropping quick climb onto probably the supporting elements because the cavalry is moving up quite quickly. Nizam, form squares. Okay, you guys run back. Sure, is the fine curiosity guards? You guys fire it well off. Semi Janissaries hit the Caribbean guards in the front. You hit their cavalry. These lances are wavering, which is nice. Mr. Pahi, you're going to have to try and mop them up on their own. Mr. Pahi over here, not doing so well against their cavalry. You can fire, you can fire into the flanks of the horse guards. Rush the hand mortars up. To drop some good shots onto them. There goes one of our hearts units is dead. You guys form square. My general safety. I don't know why the sound bugs usually fix themselves fairly quickly, but come on, you guys ought to be pummeling musket fire into the rear of those cuirassiers. Send you in on the flank as well. Run my hand mortars up a little bit more. Lancer guards are routing. Form a more conventional battle line. My Sipai finally broke. You hit the Curiosity Guards as well. Hand mortars have gone in. 
and they've shattered that cavalry unit. Let's roll up the flank. Come on, Gunners, pick up your howitzers. They've stolen a bit of a march on us with these cavalry charges, but we're going to take it back. Where's my cavalry over here? Betty Horseman, go around that flank, hit those guns. Janistry's getting back. Janistry Grenadiers form up. 18 pound a foot. Blast them with canister shot. You're going to have to try to hit the fry corp. You have to run up. Nope. You just shot a bunch of mere dudes. Sipahi attacking the general's bodyguard. You guys just get back and fire at will regularly. Come on, hand mortars. You gotta reload. Good, you go hit the artillery. Come on, hand mortars. First volley goes in. Still waiting on some people to reload. There they go. <laughs> They aren't the most efficient because they got to get within such short range of the enemy line, but damn, it's fun when they do. Okay, let's this infantry unit move around the flank. They're going after uh, some Nizam with the cavalry once more. Unit, that cavalry unit to smash their cuirassiers. You guys start dropping some artillery support onto this uh, superior line infantry unit. Should be the end of the Grenadier Guards. Where's my general? Chase down the Grenadiers. Hey, the mortars have come back. If, it, if, if they wait a bit, a bit too much longer, they will uh, get the delicious taste of hand mortars. to also chase down some of these dogs. And that's, that's everyone around it, I think. Sweet. Okay, friendly fire coming in. Although I think that's everyone. Morph I should have just retargeted my howitzers first. Oh, Prussian Fusiliers back here. Okay. Try kill the Line Infantry Guards before you have to worry about 
Shazam. Good. The Swiss Mountain Jaegers are here as well. charging yes let's get them in a position where they charge hopefully they charge into my hand mortars that'd be great these fuse layers are advanced ahead of the cover provided to them by the by the spikes Fire! Too bad about the sound, but eh. Shattered. Done. Let's get my Jenny Horseman out of there. They're looking incredibly peaky. No, they're even wavering. Shaken, nearly. I think I am just going to fast forward time just because. They're going to get within range of my waters and then pop, 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 pop. Morale effect is devastating. Damn right, we're going to continue. So, this army definitely took more of a hammering than we would have liked. But then, what do we expect? We do know this is pressure after all. They're not. They're not slouches. Oh, come on, just take someone out. I don't even care if they escape now. Just get, just do something. There we go. Now chase down those remaining four. You chase down those remaining six. Three, two, one. The last man left. Dead. Whew. A bit more of a, a hammering from all the heavy cavalry than I would have liked, but damn. They're a spent force. Which our general can resupply. And we can then attack the city with all of the men that, that are going to storm in. So we're very much going to want to use our artillery. Let's do this. I'm going to want to turn uh, the fort into a climb. The entire thing. It's going to be so small. Grewed a bit by deployment. We should still be okay. Okay, let's put the guns up on the hill. Good firing arc. My howitzers can just deploy up front. Storming division, notially made up of mostly pikes and semi infantry. We want to leave. Uh, no, actually, the one the storming units go through the breaches. So that's going to be these chaps. And the ones that go around and up the walls are going to be you chaps. Cavalry is just going to hunker down as and where. Chaps. 
general here. I mean, I'm obviously in classic style. We are going to be surrounded on turn one. Pikes, 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 pikes. Where are you at, pikes? It's unfortunate we've not got any sound, but I can explain this to you guys a couple of times. There are just things we can't actually help. Like, I don't know why it does this. I've tried fixing it, and I just don't know what to do. I've tried installing it and reinstalling it. And it just seems to be okay with coming back but what we want to do definitely is make sure we are quick climbing the bejesus out of this fort I don't like how my f my screens are suddenly starting to get into the habit of freezing take out the hussars take out the lancer guards everyone else should generally walk towards the fort to provide support but at the very least we should uh, we should be able to just smash into uh, this resupport resupplying army and take it out Doesn't help. My God. I... Oh, okay. Artillery's bugged again. Make a damn breach. And it's back. I've got my cavalry and my pikes in against their cavalry and Jaeger. Our artillery is doing a pretty good job thinning out their ranks. To be honest, you might drop quick climb here and rely on the area effect to kill men in the centre. go. Those men are destroyed. Have you got any more coming in? You do. Take him out. form square in which case then just pull my cavalry back and I'll let my pikes do the job breach is almost made Charge my pikes on into the infantry unit. Land their militia. Get these pikes involved on this flank. Quickline's been dropping in and doing some great damage. Even the mortars are nearly destroyed. They've only got two men remaining. 
Good, they've made one breach. Focus on making another. Artillery's firing like madmen. There we go, then just keep mowing down the reinforcements back here. And the wind is gone, the rain is gone, sorry. Heavy horse howitzer artillery, that's not good. But that sort of thing should help a lot. Again, my artillery. I, th I don't know what it is with artillery recently. It just. We just really like not firing. Ah, Marines! Run my pikes out of there. Okay, now might be time to turn it into more of a conventional killing field. Pikes might carry on. So we're still putting, yeah, we are now putting holes in the breach there, which is good. So you want to keep the closer units still dropping quick climb on the centre. General's dead. The other one can continue to drop shells near the, near the, uh, good god, that's a lot of dead cavalry. Drop shells near the significant units. Too bad about the pikes. Get you out of there. The have got Rifleman, whose deadly accuracy will mow the marines down. Where are your mortars, sir? Yes, clump them together even tighter than they were. God damn, this is actually... Can you guys get out of there? becoming a bit of a tricky battle to be having right behind my uh, infantry support. Or behind my siege line anyway. Don't worry, keep making your breach and you should do a lot of damage to them. Obviously these guys are just incredibly poorly regardless. Comes more quick line. Will it drop in the centre? Oh, good God. Come on, Rifleman. They might not have the firepower. God decor. Jesus. Pikes, 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 pikes. Pikes out of the ready. This is why you want multiple armies when you're attacking a city like this. Because this army is going to be pretty damn useless. The rain started again. Austrians are routing once more. Pikes, get in there. You guys line up like so. Do 
you guys can smash into the engineers. That's okay. There you go. The pikemen are starting to bring the guard infantry down. Good God. Okay, have you just made your breach? You have. Continue to attack these fusiliers at the top. You ought to be firing, really. Like that, yes, exactly like that. So they've been reduced to a third, but they continue to push on. Let's get my general's bodyguard to hit the Hungarian grenadiers before they get too close to our lines. And as the quick line continues to uh, make a mockery of the centre of this city. I believe that could be the last of that formation. I remember, bear in mind, that's my general's bodyguard. You're pretty useless, so let's rout you. Pretty useless as well, so let's get rid of you. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why it's actually getting all, why it's being so uh, stop starty today. Nothing's changed. Get around the flank. It might be the rain screwing up with it, screwing it up. Are you firing? Good. So my zipper here coming over on, coming in from the flank. All my other units are coming in from the flank. Fortunately, my storming divisions are still in quite good strength. And my general behind my lines, behind their lines, to try and take out the... Okay. Engage the grenadiers first. You guys smash into here. Okay, I'm going to quickly stop and check that nothing's running in the background that shouldn't be. So, one second, everyone. Okay, there shouldn't be anything causing it that much problems. It probably is just the rain. The rain is just... <sighs> okay, specifically target... My storming divisions, less general's bodyguard, run in to intercept the guard engineer battalions. To be honest, let's change foot artillery targets and let's get my quick climb to continue their bombardment of enemy forces. Guards are marching up. I don't think there's a way to actually change the. Can't change the weather later on. Don't really know much about. Don't really know much about the settings in general. Like it's. Hmm. 
it is odd. So most of my... Yeah, that is... That's actually really quite annoying now. At least for me it is. Uh, just one second, everyone. There we go. It's never done it since. Well, it's never done it before now. Well, the best way to end it is to uh, begin the attack. And then everyone else... It's so weird. I don't know why it started doing this. Field artillery engage the centre. It would be nice if they could. Obviously the the guards that were routing are now coming back. So just swarm them from every direction. Grenadiers, Mizam, Semite Janissaries, just swamp them. Makes me wonder if there's someone stuck. The foot guards cannot withstand such a glorious charge. There they go. a routing unit, not a resupporting, not a supporting unit. Uh, you continue to attack the guys at the top. You keep dropping quick lime into this block here. You keep dropping it into the center. Semat Janissaries, so some of you hunker down here. Let's get some Nizam up the main entrance. Quick Lime's coming in. So everyone just needs to start making progress but ideally I'd get men at the wall secure the gatehouse here push in through the side gates let's bring Wasipahi up to also prosecute such an attack the mortar the houses are over here Run the Jarrison. Let's run some Janissary riflemen around this section of the wall. Some Orta need to go straight up the wall. Pikemen, you just hunker down. Some of our quick climbing units actually focus on that corner of the wall. Come on. So these are Dragoons. This arm infantry also attack the dragoons. Semat charge through the uh, breach. Be supported with 
the other, so don't try and fight in the breach. Always just try and push some men through. Actually, these are Sereni may just take up a position at the breach and pour musket fire into the centre. So the Semat's going to charge in, fix the 5th Regiment. There we go. I think it was something was stuck. Oh no. Oh damn it. Just when I say that. Janissary Grenadiers charge through the gap. The Nizam Infantry also charge through the gap. So you should be firing by rank into the militia. Engage the superior line. Too bad about these Grenadier Guards have ruined it for me slightly. No, you push on. Engage the heavy horse artillery and the mortars. There you go, charge the Nizam and the... Oh no, not the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers are what I want to do stuff. There we go. Let's get some Janissaries into the centre. Let's also stop our artillery fire. I know there's militia here. Engage the militia. Okay, you guys should be annihilating that militia unit. There we go. Get my rifleman up on the walls. The sooner they can pour fire down onto the enemy. Got to take out the 63rd Regiment. Captured a set of gates, but it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using the gates. No, Janissary Riflemen, don't go in. Charge our infantry in instead. So right now it's all a bit of an amorphous mess. Because goddamn, their infantry seem to fight to the death super hard. Like ordinarily, one guy versus all of these Grenadiers would just die immediately. Oh, there we go. Take the centre. Get the clock ticking. There you, go. you guys are being hit by the Swiss Mountain Jaegers. Skirmisher versus Skirmisher. So here, there's just a bunch of artillery holding the gate. Form square around the gatehouse. Around the square. Super he should do pretty good against these guys, but they've got no real route in. But what matters is that in one minute, 18 seconds, this will no longer matter. Quick climb, dropping on the gatehouse, or my Sipahi? My Sipahi, no! You hear the mortars, you charge over here in the gatehouse. Gave the 17th Regiment a foot. Looks like we won against the Jaegers. Well, they're now charging a different direction. It is really strange with this damn sound bug. Quick line. That's not supposed to happen. Well, that's not. Well, that wasn't us. Our house is not firing. Yeah, 
There we go. You hit the mortars. Slice and dice their crews. You guys hit the 17th. Which we quite happily stormed in through the gate and killed. And this goddamn quick climb helped a lot. But there we go. End it. God, that was... That was awful to fight. It no really awful frame rate issue. But we've conquered the city. These armies have been destroyed. Oh, we've oh, we've executed one of their agents. So then you. You can't hit them yet. You guys replenish. Good. So then that leaves these guys in a good position to then push southwest into Warsaw. And let's repair this building. Repair. I can't repair the happiness building. I can repair the. I can repair the uh, Admiralty, but let's knock down the theatre. Get ready to turn it into a. Into a. Uh, a madrasa. Then our spy. March to Breslau. Infiltrate even further behind their lines. You. Try infiltrate Prague. More armies behind the lines. Who are you? Erpard Spielmann. You're going to be destroyed. Um, but I think I'm going to end the episode there because that went quite well. So, and I'm pretty darn sure we're over our time limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for... Probably in the next episode, we'll, we'll be at least gearing up to attack Warsaw. I'm not sure whether we will or not, but we'll be certainly doing something like that. But then again, it's... Oh, good. I thought it was an open battle. It won't be. Cool. But without further ado, um, yeah. See you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.